Well, some of y'all think I go out of my way to talk trash about Ultra, but that is the distinct swamp water colored mix oil that's on there. Crown doesn't look too bad. Um, I can't, I mean, we're replacing the gas tank on this. There's nothing left in there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is we've got a 200 and a 201T. So this has got the traditional um, non-electronic carburetor slash plain Jane coil. Uh, where's the carburetor at? Here it is. So, screw adjustment. I found I can't get as much giddy up and go out of these 201s, but we're going to try and see if we can make a 201 do better than a 200. Or if we can get it close. Uh, so back to if it's ultra. So I just um, started trying to clean up this exhaust port. Look at, here, I'll tilt this up a little bit. You can see how much carbon, there's more carbon than aluminum in here. Hold on. I used an oversized alumahog and I'm just raking out crazy amounts of carbon buildup out of the exhaust port. All right, let's get back to business and uh, this will be a fun one for today. Let's race a 200 versus a 201. All right, so I just tore down the 200. It runs. We're just looking at a few things, just wear parts. Um, yeah, the, I clean the lens on my phone, but everything around me is covered. Oh, yeah, I want a 200. I want a 200. I want a 200. All right, so let's touch on some of the common things. Only I'll make this brief. Um, all your annular buffers... AV buffers. This one's got a split in it. I don't know if I can get the right angle on it. But anyway, this one's half gone. This one's gone. It's actually split and this one's completely toast. Uh, those are yeah, about 15 bucks a piece. Don't try and use the Chinese ones. Actually, I think this heavy duty one's like $18 or something like that. They're they're pretty pricey for what they are. Um, on the top of the saw, this is your impulse line. Always change this out if you're in there. It hooks up to the top of the crankcase in there. I don't know if you can't see it. That's it way down in there. Anyway, I got a timing advance done. Um, cylinder has been lightly modified. Um, Replace the trigger on here. It wasn't, uh, wouldn't throttle lock. So when you went from choke to right there, it'd fall right into the run position. Um, that's a common thing. Uh, what else? Uh, I didn't have another dust cover. This one's kind of worn through where it threw the chain. Um, I think I can produce another one of these that's not cracked. Anyway, I mean, you know, you just have to remember, you know, you want a 200, you know, these have been out of production for quite some time. They're going to need some TLC. And this one's actually a very good candidate. I mean, it's looked like it got damaged at some point in time a long time ago and got set to the side. And then somebody threw a few fresh parts at it. This muffler was an original. Um, and it's definitely not original now. She should be a little loud and sound like a dirt bike like she's meant to. All right, let me finish putting this back together. We'll run out of the wood lot, do some test cuts, and see how close I got with a... Uh, modern 201 versus uh, a 200, both of which have very similar light mods. First up, 201T, manual carburetor, non emtrotic
try that in a little bit bigger stick of wood. See how it goes. And away we go. Let me switch bars. We'll run the old infamous, world famous 200T. All righty, here we go. Same bar, same chain. It's a bigger stick of wood. You know, after making those couple of cuts, I feel like the 201's a little bit more high strung and I can lean on the 200 just a little harder. So let's see how it goes with this. All right, not trying to make any excuses, but it looks like a lot of this wood's been moved around. And I don't know if I picked up a little bit of sand, but the chain's not quite as sharp. But anyway, that still goes to show you, you don't have to have a 200. The uh, 201s are uh, are nice. These things sound like a great dirt bike. I mean, it's cool. But uh, tell me what you think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you on the next one.